Hello and thank you for joining me. I'm Heather Forgan of stampwithnelly.com. Today I want to show you how to make this cute little gift. It is a matchbox style um, box that contains some pencils. So I picked up a pack of um, pencils that had kind of motivational sayings on it. Just do your best, give yourself time, um, you can, etc. So there's um, six in the pack, so I thought I would split it up and make it into two little gifts. So this was my prototype one, um, and it is a little bit tight, so the one I'm going to make with you today will be a little bit less snug. Um, and I've, I've not done another prototype, so let's just hope that that works. Um, so this is using the Fine Art Floral suite of products. Um, this is in the January to June 2021 mini catalogue. And this suite is on page 32. Continues on to 33. And... You get a better look at the dies and stamp set um, in the suite on page 34. So I am using the Fine Art Floral Designer Series paper, um, which is a photographic paper. Um, one of the, the Stamping Up designers has actually um, created this artwork and that has then been photographed to then be printed as this designer series paper. Awesome talent, beautiful colours, absolutely love every one of the designs in that pack. Um, it's a 12 by 12 pack and you get 12 sheets to each of six double sided designs in the pack. So this, because it is such a tiny little um, narrow box, doesn't use enough use an awful lot of the designer series paper um, but still has a bit of a wow factor with it. So I am using, okay so I'm going to change it up a bit and use bumblebee card for my box base this time. I'm still going to decorate it with the same designer series paper and this is just an A4 sheet and I need to cut this into two pieces. The first one, I need to trim this down to eight and three quarters. There we go. And Two inches. All of the dimensions and the products that I'm using will be in my blog post and there will be a link to that blog post in the description bar below. Now this piece I want to trim down to seven and seven eighths by three and a half. Okay, so this piece will be the um, cover and this will be the drawer. So let's just do the scoring. Okay, so I want to score this at half an inch. So this line here. On all four sides. side scored at half an inch and that's ready to make the base. I want to score this one at half an inch as well and turn that around and I want to score this one at one and nine sixteenths. So I'm using sixteenths of an inch just so that we get a little bit more give um, in the box 
box lid um, so that it slides in and out. So on, just make sure you can see this without too much reflection. So each of these longer lines is a 1 8 and the shorter ones are 1 16 and then you've got a quarter and then the even longer one is a half and the longest one is a full inch. So um, when we're talking about 1 and 9 16 8 16 is a half and you just want to take it to that little line just after there. Okay. So one and nine sixteenths. Two and one eighth. And I want three and three sixteenths. So I'm just going to the three, one, two, three. So that's just it's the mark before three and a quarter. Okay. That gives us a little panel that we can glue. Oops. So we've got these two pieces and I'm just going to burnish all of these lines to reinforce them. ones as well while we're at it. Okay and to make the tree we need to do a little bit of snipping so we just want to cut up those two score lines just to that score line there and in the two outer sections just wedge that ever so slightly. To get a neater fit. Okay. Same at the other end, just cut along the score line and wedge into those two little squares. Like so. There. Okay, so that's all the cutting. We now just need to do a little bit of gluing. So I am using my multi-purpose liquid glue and then just put it on the tabs and fold that tab in so you get a nice right angle straight edge on there hold that in place a second and the same that side now because my box is just over an inch wide and these two little tabs are half an inch, they nearly meet in the middle. Um, so that actually gives a little bit of extra reinforcement to the end. Because obviously you're going to be pressing on the end of the box to push the drawer. Thank you. great benefit of liquid glues it gives you a little bit of maneuverability um, but it does mean it takes a moment or two to dry so I've got this little piece here and I'm going to add glue closer to the top end of that Just want to make sure 
that I've got it with the cut edge just before the scored edge there. Like that. Okay. So you can fold it over and give it a bit more of a press. Oh, I'm not sure I've got that quite right. Let's just hope that fits. Yeah, that's still tight. What I did do was make the sleeve slightly longer um, so that the ends aren't uh, quite so exposed and it's maybe a little bit easier to push through. Okay, so I can pop my pencils in there. And maybe I should move the yellow one into the yellow box, but you can leave that. For decoration, I've just got these pieces of designer series paper that are just a fraction smaller than the top of the box. So this piece measures seven and three quarters of an inch by seven eighths. The two pieces for the side each measure seven and three quarters by three eighths of an inch. There, again, there's just a narrow border showing there, and same again. And I've cut two other little bits for the ends. So I'll do this one first. Just poke the end out a bit. And these are seven eighths of an inch by three eighths of an inch. Tiny. Just to carry the decoration to the end. And again, another layer doesn't do any harm to reinforcing that bit that's going to get pushed to open and close the box. Yeah. Okay, so that's our main construction done. To decorate, I have used a piece of the bumblebee ribbon, and I'll stick with that, a piece of one of the vellum square doilies and I have used the new Oval Occasions um, stamp set and the double oval punch, although I've only used one of the ovals because their box is too narrow for the bigger one. Um, so with this one I used Hugs and Kisses and Sweet Friends and I stamped that with basic grey just to stand out a bit more and Bumblebee. For this one I think I am going to I'll use a bit of the Bumblebee card and I will stamp with basic grey I think. And I'm going to change it up and I'll stamp the A Little Treat For You. Yeah. Yeah. If I was to leave it like that and punch that out, one, it doesn't fit, but two, I'd be punching out that bit there, which I don't need. So I'm just going to trim this. And 
needs still a little bit. A little bit less. Just so I can get it right in the middle of the oval. Tiling error. Okay. So there we go. Make sure that's where I want it. Don't let it go. <laughs> and that's exactly where I want it. You can apply a little bit of pressure, first of all, and then cut like that. Okay, so a little treat for you little bit of ribbon and I'm going to use tear and tape so I want my ribbon to be about that length and I'm going to just put a little bit of tear and tape in the center of that ribbon like so also going to put a little bit on the other side smaller bit and that'll hold the doily in place. Peel the backing off. There we go. Put my ribbon a little bit further up if I can. It's better. Take this backing off. And the, the doilies, as I say, they are square doilies and they come in a pack of 24. Um, and I just simply used my trimmer. I know my box is just over an inch wide, so roughly an inch, seven eighths, something like that. Um, just have a bit of that doily. That piece of tear and tape will hold that in place there. And put another bit on there. Oops. Oh, how many times do you do that? Managed to pull, pull up both bits instead of just taking the back and off either. And Lock that down and my dolly. Final touch is some of the silver pearls from the metallic pearls set. Just to tone in with the grey of that. And there you have it. We've got two different versions. And if I can find on my messy desk, there it is. <laughs> Two lovely little gifts, matchbox style pencil treat for someone and made an extra special gift by the motivational messages on the, the pencils themselves. I hope you've enjoyed this project. If you have, please leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, please click on that button too. Remember, there's a link to my blog post in the description bar as well, so you can get all the details and links to my Stamping Up shop. Until the next time, take care. Bye-bye.